Okay, so first let me check how much money I have. Let's see, I have 2640. I guess a few antidotes would probably be good. Let's buy 10. That still leaves me with some money left. I have a few revives. The med kits I are pretty useless when you think about it. Cure-alls are expensive for now. Biospheres are also expensive. Escape packs are 20. Neurostim. Well, whatever. I'll buy at least the antidotes because those will probably come in handy. So let's go in the opposite direction I was going before. The cabins are down there. I was in the wrong direction. Let's go around this... Uh, another one? Jeez. Now what? Do we make it serve? Sukiyama Securities. Biosales new product. Medkit Max is bearing the fruit of its research effort. Less than one week after the launch of Medkit Max, sales of the other researchers are making it S drop from its number one spot. Determined by the effective use of your investments and whether or not immediate change in consumer demand takes place. Dividend for this investment is Medkit S times 5. Uh, moreover, the price war has begun due to the market introduction of Medkit Max into the market. Prices have fallen uniformly 10%. 10% have fallen for the medkit max. Subsidies. Okay, so it's my investment here. So that means basically the medkit max is going to be uh, introduced into my items and prices will fall? I'm not sure yet. But I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. I don't even really I don't really follow investment stuff in real life. Now I got to follow it in a game. Though they probably simplified it. Okay, so up this way. Actually, no, this is the wrong place. Dining and Cocktails, Elsa Restaurant. It's strange they have a restaurant in this place to begin with. Anyways, I went to the wrong place. I think it was actually this way I came from. Yeah, it was that way. So, instead of going down, I go up this way towards where the, uh... Somewhere, I think. Hmm. Actual... Oh, yeah, there's a door. Alright, I found my way. Perspectives of this game are kind of odd. Now, I should be approaching these, uh, cabins, or the passenger... No, it was just an alternate place into the freaking restaurant. There's no doors here. What are you serving? Not a crazy robot. Well, I might as well go this way, then. There's no other, uh, area I can think of. Unless there's one to the left side that I should check out. see here. No, there's nothing there. Uh, elevator. I didn't see that before. Would you like to go to B1? Uh, I'll go there for now and see what's there. Hey, that's where the passengers are. Here's Cosmos. So we finally meet. Now, where does the real you exist? Good night. Sounds like a, a theme from Xenogears, just slightly arranged. Uh, uh, I guess nobody's here. It's with the awkwardness.
I don't know, he's plotting. If he's plotting. Does he want to destroy Cosmos? Does he want to commandeer Cosmos? Does he love Cosmos? I think he's being manipulated. I don't know, the way she was walking was like a spider. Same archetype from before? I don't know. I don't know what to say at all. Oh, we're getting back to running around with Curry. He's in the same room with Cosmos. I guess I gotta find that room. Ha! Ha! I can still shoot with Curry. How do you like that? Even when I'm carrying food, I'm still charged up. Now, that's locked. This is a Use of cargo other is restricted to the transportation of cargo only. I have cargo in my hands. What do you think? Hey, I don't know where I'm going still. I'm just... Boom. Blowing things up while carrying curry. 
Never thought I'd see the day. Curry is a deadly weapon. It goes right through you. I'm just running around blowing things up. It's money, 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 money. B2F. Basement second floor, if you want to call it that. Uh, well, there he is. There's a save, too, which uh, can only mean bad things sometimes. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, Chaos, were you able to talk with Kosmos? No, she seemed to be asleep, so I didn't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Why, thank you. By the way, have you seen the commander? I saw the commander go into the ma maintenance lab. Just go up the elevator on the left in the hangar up ahead. Okay. Really? You're a great help. Thanks. I assume the elevator is that. What's this? Safety lock of electromagnetic floor confirmed. The anti-intruder program cannot be activated at this time. Okay. Well, there's a save here, which usually means you should be saving. I mean, why have multiple saves in a ship to begin with? Well... Let's just prepare for anything. We don't know what the commander's up to. Is Cosmo's gonna wake up? Is the commander gonna do something weird? Am I still gonna have to run around with this curry and explore the ship? Hey, look, one of these things. It's got the same address number eight. I will look into my uh, database. Actually, at the end of the part, I'll look to my database, I think. Right now, I'm just kind of I don't know. I just feel like a moron running with curry and blowing things up. Got some sort of ether upgrade, it seems. This is a biosphere. Supposed to be an elevator coming up, I think. What's this? Nothing. That's a door. And over here is another hallway. Uh, this is just... Go up. Okay. Climb up the ladder with curry? Where did I go to? This is... I have no idea. Did, did I just go backwards? I don't think I was in this area before. Oh, phew! Oh, jeez. I just went in a roundabout way. That was pointless. Go down a floor. Go down. Okay, then. So. I had to scratch my ear. That's why I didn't go through the door. Well, that's a shortcut, I guess. Doesn't say anything. What am I thinking? A lot of droning noises. And here, I guess I'm getting closer to it. Are gnosis ever going to attack us in here? I wonder. Uh, you are. I know who you are. Hammer. Hammer. Wait, I just realized. Are you a reference? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just looking for the commander. Hey, what happened to the pod we were in? Oh, if you mean the escape pod, we cleared it out already. After all, it may be small, but military escape pods use cutting-edge technology. They sell for quite a lot to the right people. I see. So you put the pod up for sale? Oh, shoot. I'm really sorry. Please pretend that you didn't hear that. It was all the captain's idea. Oh, it's completely all right. It's not like it belonged to me, and I'm sure to the military, it's just another piece of equipment. Heh. <laughs> Hammer. I just realized it. I like another door. Okay, Scar semi Agis 14. This is floating bag of items. Money. Uh, this is a fiber suit. Hey, fiber suit. See if I can equip it to Shion or something. Check that out quickly. Okay, 
characters equip from uniform to nothing. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, how I. Okay. Fiber suit, don't know what I can do with it just yet. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Nope. That's where the pod would have... This is like a loading dock or something, or a, a bay area of the ship. The hull. I don't know, I'm just saying things. I got another segment address. So, I shouldn't be down here? There's supposed to be some sort of elevator. I mean, I'm exploring, that's one thing, but at the same time, it's like... I feel like a moron just running around. Happens every time I get into a new ship. I haven't seen a map in a while. He said like right up ahead, so maybe I was supposed to go in the opposite direction backwards. And that's where I would have found the elevator. So over here, there's nothing except things that reform. Not that the items reformed. Let's go backwards here. Those things I can't get to, it seems, just yet. Once I hit this switch. The slide deck is currently loaded and cannot be operated. In order to operate a slide deck, you'll need a disarm key. Which I do not have, for sure. This is where it would have really helped to have um, a radar that showed boundaries, I'd say. At least I can tell where a door is. Alright, so that can't be used. Back here, there's a door. Did I go into? I never even went into this one, did I? I was probably supposed to go into this one. Well, I looked around and got some items. I guess that's good. So here we have... Okay, here's the lift. I went the completely wrong direction. Over here is a robot. Hello, I am in charge of maintaining the ship. Is there anything you need? I will sell you anything on the ship on the ship for cheap. Appreciate your patronage so the captain can repay his debts. Oh, uh, we have another... Uh... Oh, for my eggs. I gotta learn equipping eggs. So eggs are basically just another form of gear, I want to say. Let's look around a little bit more. Oh, this is an eggs area. Hey, look at this. Vierge? Is that you? I can't find out, can I? That's my eggs? That doesn't look like, uh... How can I forget its name? I forgot what it was named. Uh, phase gear was, 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 how can I forget phase gear? Whatever. Uh, I look, more blowing up. More blowing up. And this is, I have no idea. Oh, they're just, they're just like ships or something. This is what? Nothing. And what's up here? More nothing. And down here is a chest. I got a beam. A coat beam. Didn't we have that in Xenogears 2? There's nothing but Xenogears references going on right now. That's what the game feels like. Well, I guess not because, let's face it, it's kind of like a Fall Fantasy in a way. Where it's like... The games do reference each other because they take place in... I don't know. I guess Xenogears just felt like more of a one-off game. So even having this, it just feels odd, I think. So... Pretty sure this is where I was supposed to go. I'm the hardest worker on the ship. I even installed the locks on the so slide deck. But when I was cleaning one of the cabins, I lost the disarm key. Oh boy, oh no. I sh should be easy to find though. All I need to do is press the circle button. But it's such a pain because the cabin's huge. Oh boy, oh no. That's a hint, right? 
What do you mean just a circle button? Oh, okay, I see. I, I got my buttons confused. And, uh... I don't think that's a reference to phase gear. Alright, I got another key to upgrade. Oh, look, there's another one here. Go down, go up. All this just to deliver food. There we go. <gasps> you. Oh, um, I didn't see you in your room. I, I thought you might be a little hungry. What were you doing? I was looking at her. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Oh, uh, this. I I it's a bad habit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. But... Regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. I... never thought... she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter, or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well, I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Why... why do you ask? Just... wondering. You somehow seemed... different from the other crew members. The Woglinde task force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. Soldier? Meanwhile, Area 66, Rupen Sector. Well, looks like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry, those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. Uh, no comments really, unfortunately. 
kind of hard to make comments. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for Second Milsha. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN control center on Second Milsha, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that realion here. We have to send her to the UMN control center, located at the former Vector Transfer Gate control facility. That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of Old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. You are Ki Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that realion? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UMN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We'll just have to open her up and see. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the Council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture's unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert Wave. The Hilbert effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when UTIC was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. Is this strange I'm having trouble following exactly who's trying to do what and who might be bad and who might be good? I don't even know what Milsha is. Oh, okay. There's Cosmos in there. Um, oh, that curry was, well, it was very good. Commander, just say thank you for dinner. All right, thank you for dinner. You're welcome. Hope you really liked it. All right, let's uh, go backwards. Anyways, what part's the cabin again? <laughs> if I pause... Does it tell me where I am, or am I thinking of Metal Gear Solid? I just played it recently. Hey, Miss Vector, if you're just lounging around, come to the bridge for a sec. Uh, what could it be? I wonder if something happened. Pause. Yeah, I was thinking of Metal Gear. The cabin, huh? Should I buy stuff for my eggs? Let's look in quick. Well, there's tuning, but I assume that's like recovery, right? Restore FHP. Okay, we could do that. Um, my generator goes from 51 to 60. So basically, we're dealing with like gears again. Uh, how much money do I even have? 
Not a lot. Equip VX1000, equip the VX01G01, exchange with that. It all does, it puts my defense power, I think, or D power, whatever that is. All right, fine. It's exchanged, okay. I should have that on our frame. It goes, wow, that goes up quite a bit, my HP. I can't afford it. No, I can't afford it. So now my HP is 740. Unfortunately, I can't buy any other parts. Oh well. I mean, at least I got his HP up. Uh, okay, you gonna sell off the slides? Yeah, but it's only one of the cab, one of the cabins. That's all I got is one of the cabins. So it's not in the basement area, most likely. It's gotta be on one of the higher portions of where you actually would stay. So they're looking for the original Zohar to do something. There was some guy who did something 14 years ago with some sort of initial Milsha thing. The sector's currently blocked off. And now they want to go back to it, but they can't because they don't have the dimensional transporter or something to it. I'm doing the best I can to follow it. Trust me, I, I, I mean, I know things are going to get a lot more complicated. Alright, there's nothing here. It's just going to lead me down here again. Then, big yellow button. Like emergency switch. Press. Safety lock. Uh huh. Okay, that's pointless. Let's just reopen everything up again. <laughs> There's no point in doing that right now. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, this is an elevator. Did I go through all this already? Like in there? Okay, that's the cargo elevator I can't do. Okay, let's go up. Now, where could... Which cabin could that guy have been cleaning, I wonder? So it looks like I might be able to access a treasure chest if I... The slide, side locks or slide locks, whatever they were. I might be able to access a treasure chest. I gotta make my way to the bridge. So I just run around and hope I catch something on the floor. That's how I interpret it. What's Alan talking about? Hey, Chief! Oh, Alan, what's the matter? Uh, um, Chief, I've been thinking a lot since then. And they seem to be pretty good people. Something I'm trying to meet them halfway, bit by bit. Wow, Alan, I'm surprised. You're usually so hard-headed with your logic and preconceptions, so I was a little worried that you'd become like, become like one of Wells' aliens. Good luck, bye. Oh, no, that's not it. That is my efforts. Okay. Anyways, cleaning up a cabin, cleaning up a cabin. I, mean, I don't even know what this is. Is this, like, where they stay? Is this what they call the cabins? I didn't even really know what was down here. Yep, these are cabins. Seem quite worn out. Don't push yourself too hard. It's bad for your health. How about getting some good rest? Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. It's just telling me to sleep to replenish my health. Yay! All right, so these are definitely the cabins. And if I look around, I might be able to find something. Unless, of course, it's actually in plain sight. Who's, it's like a work area or something. So let's go into the other one quickly. So that other one, th that one here I just exited is a rest place. While the other one down here is what? Well, when it loads, I'll find out. Loading alone uh, is adding up to the duration of this part. So in here, well, nothing yet. 
It is another cabin, yes. Just trying to see if I can find that key thing I was talking about. I presume these are the cabins that was referred to. Oh, there it is! Got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Cool. I now got it for future use. I'm not gonna go back, though. I assume this is gonna be, like, one of our main areas in the game to, like, rest up, perhaps. But I got no proof of that. Let's just head up to the bridge. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I, I don't know. Bridge time. What's going on in the bridge? Shiana was called. What the? There it is again. That's so weird. What is it? It's the catapult deck. There seems to be something wrong with the hatch. Air pressure? No leaks at the moment. I wonder if it's the electrical system. Shall I take a look at it? Uh, that'd be great. Doesn't look like a leak, but be careful, just in case. Got it. Now what? The catapult thing? Where am I going? It's gonna lead to something, for sure. She's gonna get catapulted out of the ship. Where am I going? That's, uh, I don't know what that is, even. The PA announcement? Oh, well, I just wanted to ask you to help us prepare for the gate jump. Great timing. Can you go check the catapult? Where's the catapult? Hmm, I think it'll probably be okay. The catapult on this ship is jerry-rigged. Well, I can't really get into what exactly is jerry-rigged, since it's the ship's greatest secret. Does that mean you have equipment that violates Federation laws? Huh? Uh, looking at me like that won't work. I can't tell you any more than that. Sorry, there's a lot going on. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm a mere guest here. This is nothing. The captain and Tony really abused the catapult, so it's probably falling apart. Mm -hmm. be great to know where the catapult is, though. I just want a reference point. Yeah, I'm apparently supposed to know this ship by heart. I didn't see anything that looked like a catapult when I was around the downstairs area. Maybe the map will help me. Probably not. Okay, let's see. Bridge, terminal, passenger, cabins, galley, restaurant, cargo hold, cargo hold, maintenance slab 1 and 2, catapult deck in B3F. Alright. So, take the elevator down. <laughs> oh, let's go exit the ship. There's an airlock, you know, let's... It'll help. Just get get a suit up and leave the ship. So I gotta go all the way down. Oh, jeez, I don't want to make you feel bad. Oh, sorry, I'm in, but I'm in a hurry. I'll, let's talk later. Oh, uh, Chief? Oh, well. So, gotta go all the way down. So I'll probably have to pass those side locks again. I don't remember if I passed anything that looked. This is the B1. Now, was there a shortcut to the B2? This is. Uh. Yeah, this will lead me to the B2. Which maybe should be in the area of the side locks? Unless that was on the B1. That's something I'm going to have to figure out, isn't it? Let's see here. If I go this way... Just curious quickly. Here are the side locks! Let us take a quick... Uh, release of the side lock deck. Side deck... Slide deck lock. Are you? Um... Releasing it. Press. Workers within its moving range should retreat to a safe area immediately. Cool. So, that takes me down to here. 
I'm assuming I had to maybe get that key anyway. I'm on the what? B3? Oh, there's this area. Man, it's just a place to find all sorts of items. And here is Decoder 10. Decoder 10? Looks like a key. Well, I guess I could take a look at it. Let's see. Items. Decoder to start to lock on segment address number 10. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't remember where the segment address number 10 was even. Unless it's in my database. Let's take a look at this perhaps. Uh, it's EBS. Database. No system. This is to look at different notes or different enemies, period, I guess. Or notices, perhaps. Keywords. Eggs. Take a look at people's history. This is something I'm going to read on my own. I ain't going through it like this. Cage partition. Well, okay. Captain Moriyama. Oh, man. I'm going to go through that another time. On my own. All right, so I gotta find. Remember where our address number ten was? Even could be anywhere. Well then, uh, I guess there's nothing else down there. Well, there's a chest, but I don't appear to have access to it. Where is that even coming from? There's no ladder that leads to it that I can see. Which there was. Oh. This one. I get it. I don't have a key for it though. Alright. Um. Uh. This way. And then. Over here, I believe, was the elevator to go down again. Yeah, well, or at least the stairs or something. Now, this will bring me down. Unfortunately, this might not be where the catapult is. It might be in a different place. Which one were you? 14, I think? 14, I knew it. I feel I went in the wrong area. That's not a catapult at all. It's more like a docking area. Well... Okay, it is a catapult, I guess. Hmm. Everything checks out normal. Hmm. Nothing seems to be wrong. There's something wrong. Ship's gonna go bye bye. I gotta travel all the way back. I presume going back to check's not gonna, you know, change anything. Are they gonna really make me walk the whole way back? I think they are. You know, cutscenes until I head back to the bridge. Should I just fast forward or skip this trip back? That might be a smart idea. Or, you know, come back when there's a cutscene or something. That might be the smartest idea. Oh, here's chaos for some reason. 
Oh, Sean, how was it? Anything out of the ordinary? Nope, I didn't see any major problems. Okay, well, I hope it was just hammering the captain's imagination then. Hey, Chaos, you don't trust me, do you? That's not true. Taking care of a problem in or two is a piece of cake for you, right? Yes, that's right, it's a piece of cake. Hey, wait, you're still making fun of me, aren't you? What a strange guy. He seems to know something about Cosmos, too. At least that's my interpretation of it. Maybe I'll save quickly in case something happens. EBS. Oh, that's where I can use it. Hey, do you know about the EBS plate there? The EBS is the general term for the environmental simulated service offered by the UM UMN administration. You probably wouldn't understand a detailed explanation, so I'll explain it in the layman terms. On top of the old save function, it can also activate various... Okay... Game centers, battlefields... Okay, so it's basically... Aha. Uh -huh. Well, right now, I just want to save. I use that EVS another time. Because right now... Plus, let me know if I should explore them on my own time, because if there's nothing of importance there, then there's no point in showing you it, I would think. Thank you for choosing the UMN transport gate. We would like to confirm your vessel's registration. Organization, Kukai Foundation. Vessel class, Type 2 cargo ship. Vessel number, MFHE 59824751. Vessel name, Elsa. Captain, Mr. Matthews, is this correct? Yep. You got it. Please transmit your flight plan. Thank you. Cargo is scrap material. Destination is the Milshan star system. Oh, you appear to have some excess cargo mass. Yeah, we got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Have a safe journey. I had a feeling that notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have filled Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. Mm-hmm. Say, I'm very impressed. I'll transfer the gun controls to you. Could you please take care of the return fire? Roger. I wouldn't be much of a bodyguard if I didn't. Am I gonna get the shoot with a ship? Of course not. An RPG, after all. It was just a cutscene. You've got to be kidding me! This is ridiculous. But, but there's nothing I can do about it. I, I'm just passing on the orders. And I'm saying those orders are unacceptable. Oh, forget it. It's not doing me any good talking to you. Get the director on the line now. Yes, ma'am. Just a moment, please. Chief. Did you see how scared she was? You're even scaring me. You don't have to yell, you know? What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, I don't know. Director, what is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination. It looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! 
Xi'an, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report, and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. You don't understand at all. Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, you should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. <sighs> Toga, she informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties, but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! All right. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. The moment you sense even the slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chief! I just did what I had to do. I'm just so glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. Hmm. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. No, it's true. So, what about me? <laughs> oh, hey, Alan. Didn't see you there. Didn't see me here? Hey! I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Guess uh, they just forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> Alan feels nothing more than like a comic foil. He's always got that sigh with the uh, frumpy music going on, or the uh, weird happy-go-lucky music. And he's supposed to be a love interest to Shion. Take a look at this. Wow. I had no idea there are ships that small that can enter hyperspace. the other small ship I'm sorry I have no idea there's a distress call coming from the small ship why are we helping them we've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys damn we're in their light of fire what get out of the way Enough trouble. 
trouble. There's a hit to Sector 4. Outer hull partially damaged. They've done it now, those bastards! Oh. Captain... Shut up! Any enemy of theirs is our ally. Tony! Aye, aye, sir. That's like it. What? Wait a second! You're gonna take a ship like this? Into battle? In hyperspace? You gotta be kidding! You better believe it. Don't worry about it. With Elsa's logic drive and my immaculate piloting skills, there's nothing we can't handle. Let's do it! Ziggy! Yeah, these guys must like trouble. You okay back there? Yep, I'm fine. That's what I like to hear. They can avoid all that. No. It looks like this is the end of the line. I'm sorry I couldn't see you through this safely. It's okay. I know. Thanks for everything you've done. Are you scared? A little. But I'm okay. Because you're here with me. I see. Vessel occupants, can you make it up on your own? The ship shielding should cover you a bit, so if you put on your spacesuits and use the hull as a shield. Roger. Neither of us here are human, so I'm sure we can make it. You all right? I'm fine. I build a lot tougher than I look. Well, I'm built as tough as I look. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe they should hurry up and run inside. That would be the smartest thing to do. Enter the ship. If they're only auto tech terminals, we should be able to handle them. 
Momo, give me periodic reports on the enemy status. Their only goal is to capture you. They won't do anything rough. Yes, sir. Damn it! Intruder alert! They're on the catapult deck! Eggs. We've got trouble. They're taking over the rear hangar. I'm detecting transfer waves. They're calling in terminal units. We'll just have to take them on. Prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Seal the internal barrier doors. Roger. I'll take the corridor. I'll go too. No, it's too dangerous. I can't let you go by yourself, Kate. Oh, wh where'd you come from? Sorry. I've got Cosmos with me. Right, Cosmos? Yes, I will eliminate the enemy units. But don't damage the ship, understand? Understood. I will proceed at 30% output. Alec, go find the commander and protect the cabin. Huh? Are you serious? I'm counting on you. Where did Cosmos come from? I don't know, she even woke up. Well, I guess that stuff would wake her up. So I'm controlling Shion with Cosmos in the team. Maybe Chaos? Alright, cool. This will give me a chance to save. Chief, please don't do anything reckless. We're taking Cosmos into battle without permission from HQ. If that were to happen, we'd all be fired. Fired! Does he have to repeat everything twice? I think he's not the first time he's done that. Well, good place to stop it anyway, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That cutscene was rather long anyway. Uh, warning emergency. Well, time to save then. And end the part. Yep, I got chaos in my team. And voila! That's it for this part. Next time we go and get rid of these intruders. So long!